This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to do a product review on this sprayer. Viviz, Viv, 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 Vivo Sun. Vivo Sun. That's what, I think that's what it says. I think that's the type of pump it is. Anyway, so a couple years ago, we had this debate online of if an Amazon sprayer was even worth the money or Walmart or whatever. And so my wife went on Amazon.com and she bought three different sprayers, three different price points. And I'm going to go over each one of them. I already went over my BNG, made a video on that. And uh, so I can show you the pros and cons and whether they can even stand up to a piece of professional equipment or not. Because, I mean, I've got a professional tank. I I enjoy my BNG. I love my BNG. If you watch that video about me talking about it, you can tell I really enjoy using it. I like putting them together. I just like them. They're good tanks, and they last forever. And this one we're going to go over. This is a plastic tank, so we're going to do an unboxing and let you know what's in the box. All right, so, so already, today's video is sponsored by me, Jason Akers. I know a lot of YouTubers and content creators are placing ad breaks in their videos these days in order to make ends meet, and I understand why, but all my videos are created by me, paid for by me. I buy my own cameras, editing software, microphones. I spend hours of time recording and editing the videos for you, my audience. I don't like a lot of self-promotion, but I wanted to take the time to let you know about the ways you can help support the videos and my content. I have a large list of links in every description of every video I provide you with. All of the pesticides I use in my business are listed on my Amazon page. When I started my business, I used Amazon a lot in order to receive my chemicals and equipment the next day delivery. It's a service that I trust. So I list pesticides there for you to find. I also have several affiliate links listed for B&G products and pesticides as well. My course on bed bugs is the number one course on Udemy's website that goes over extensive treatment methods on the control of bed bugs, from automobile treatment to living room and even bedrooms as well. If you have checked all of those links and still wish to support me, I have a PayPal, Patreon, and other ways to donate to the channel in the links on my main page of YouTube, as well as in the description of every one of my videos. As always, the best way to support me at what means the most to me is if you will like this video, if you will share this video with your friends, and if you will subscribe to my channel. That honestly means the most to me, and that's what keeps me going, truly more than money, more than anything else, is just keeping you guys happy and keeping you with the content that you like to have. Speaking of subscribing, uh, I also have a join button at the top of my YouTube channel as well. This feature is new with YouTube and works in much the same way as a Twitch subscription works. When you hit this button and join the channel, it gives you special features that only joining the channel can give. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you. I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below, giving me any suggestions you might have for the next video. So don't forget, like and subscribe, and on with the show. I can tell it's 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 extremely um, flimsy plastic. Um, it comes with a couple of tips 
It, uh, so with the BNG, with the multi-jet, you saw it was just the one tip. You twist it, you rotate it, you turn it, you twist it. It's just really easy to put together. You've got all your tips, tips built into the BNG wand, which is pretty nice. Um, so this one, let's see what we got. We got a lot of like gaskets, like spare, spare parts and gaskets and stuff like that. That's nice to have parts. You don't really get that with BNG. You usually have to order their parts separate. Um, the hose is already attached. So with the BNG, where like you said, when I pulled it out of the box, I had to actually assemble it. I had a hose and the wand and everything had to be put together. Um, this comes pretty much already assembled. Uh, here is your pump is much similar to the BNG, but it's plastic. Um, so of course, most of these are going to be plastic. It locks in place just like, okay, you got to push down. You got to push down and twist, but that's how you do it with the BNG too. Same way, it locks in the same way, but it's brass. Like I said, it's a little more. Uh, I don't see this holding up for a long time. Um, maybe to do maybe one or two pest control jobs. Um, just feeling the plunger, it it pumps a lot like a BNG. It lets loose easier, uh, but it doesn't. I mean, it, as far as pumping in, it feels like exactly the same as a BNG as far as pressure. Um, so let's go ahead and put it together. Uh, you've got this little, I imagine this little O-ring, so it comes with this little O-ring here. I imagine that O-ring goes along this little piece of, that's already like indented for it. I'm thinking that's what it goes. Now, it did give me instructions. Let me see. Now, the BNG doesn't come with instructions. I mean, it was pretty self-explanatory, easy to put together. Um, yeah, so it says here, insert the fastener of the hose. So you have to do this, and you have to pull this all the way to here, and then you screw it. You push this into this little part here. And now I'm learning with you because I have never, I don't know what this is. This is the first time I have opened this box uh, since I bought it. It's actually, the hose is really tangled up. Let me see if I can untangle that real quick. There we go. And the hose is very flimsy hose. It's a very thin, maybe quarter inch, where the B&G is a half inch hose. Um, this is a quarter inch hose. And so let's go ahead and put this together Might as well. So it looks like that O-ring... Um, it doesn't, like, so if you put this down, it wants to pull it past, if you'll see, past that little indent there. So it doesn't actually want to stay there. And I don't know if maybe I'm just putting it together wrong, but I'm, that's all the way in. It's not going any in any deeper. So I'm assuming that this is done correctly. So you make sure that O-ring is seated up against the wand and you pull that down and you tighten it up really good. And that supposedly seals, all right? So assuming, assuming that this works like it's supposed to, it comes with a jet or a, uh, I call them jet stream, but it's a pin stream type attachment. Um, you would have, if you wanted to do something, I'm guessing you loosen it and it will do like a cone. And when you tighten it, it'll do like a straight spray or maybe the other way around. I'm not sure. I've only used a couple of tanks like this in the past, typically to do uh, under structure type thing where I'm just going to use it and throw it away usually because you're going to use like a sodium borate type equipment and it just ruins the hoses. And I don't want to put that in my nice BNG because I don't want to mess it up. But one thing I have noticed, so it does come with a a different spray tip. And we're going to try to change that out real quick because I changed the one on the BNG and you saw how easy that was to do. But this one comes with a two jet. So not just do you get one that changes based on how you spray. And if it says right here in the instructions, let me see. It says, let's read together. It says, uh, use the device. You can change the width of the spray by rotating the nozzle. So yes. So the way that you change it is you have to actually twist this to change whether it's a pin stream or whether it's a cone spray. So it doesn't have a fan spray. It just has a cone spray. So let's take this off of here. Let's take this whole tip off. So the whole tip actually comes off like that. All right. And then this screw, does this screw out of there? think it does oh i see okay all right so i think i'm no i didn't break it i thought i broke it i was like <laughs> it's going to break right out of the box <laughs> let's hope i don't break it right away all right and it does have a screen you'll see try to keep it from clogging up on you a uh, bng has one of those too i didn't show that because the bng wand came already assembled but there is actually a screen inside the bng wand too to help you not clog up your tip but it actually comes with a fan it looks like it comes with a fan spray tip so it does all right so there it does come with a fan spray tip much like the tip of a multi-jet on the bng 
Um, I'm not sure how it goes in. Let's see if we can learn together how this is supposed to... How does this attach? I don't know. This should be self-explanatory. Truthfully, this is something already that I'm having a little bit of issue with because now I took this little green tip off, okay? And it comes, it says the other, the other part. Loosen this up and pop that out. It just falls right out, I think. I think it'll fall out. Yeah, there we go. Comes with a, there's the filter, which I don't want to forget about that. There's the piece with the O-ring on it, all right? Put that there. Filter, put that back in here. That goes actually on the end of this like this. Like that. And then, let's see here. This goes back on here like this. And then we put this on here like this. I'm already fumbling with this. I am so sorry. I am try. I am not. There we go. All right. So now I've got it on a fan. Okay. And you do have to make it's directional. So you do have to kind of angle it like you'll have to loosen and twist it based on what you feel most comfortable spraying with. But it also has this little attachment like this. And I'm not exactly sure. This is probably more for like a lawn application and it does alt like it will angle. So like you can do like a lawn application with it, probably under bushes and stuff or mosquitoes, things like that. Um, I'm not exactly sure though, because I've never used one of these before. Let's see if I can get this thing. I don't think this is going to go on here. I don't think it will. Let me see. I don't know how it works. I really don't know. I'm sorry. I, I really don't know. So let's angle this down so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Okay. So here's a spray tip here. I'm not sure how this is supposed to attach. I'm wondering if this actually, does it screw in? No. It doesn't screw in. Does it screw? Oh, it screws into this. Does it? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Hmm. It doesn't go in there either. Does it go on this end, maybe? No, there's nothing in that end. So I'm not exactly sure how this is supposed to attach. Maybe it comes off here. Aha! So that actually goes on like this. There we go. And it doesn't tell you that in the directions at all. So you gotta kind of figure that out. All right, so that's how that goes on like that. So there you go. So now you've got a tip that can actually spray the ground if you want to spray the ground. I guess maybe a mulch bed or something where you're trying to treat a wider surface. I don't know when this application would actually be viable. Maybe if you wanted to turn it up under, maybe get up under a bush or something with a uh, misty spray to kill mosquitoes and stuff like that maybe. But that's all I could assume that this tip is for. Um, it's, it's, it definitely confused me as to how you're even supposed to attach it, but I did ultimately figure it out. So it's not something I think that people won't be able to figure out. Now, let's see, let's go ahead and put it back together. Let's see how, if I can do that. I think I can do that. So we screw that on. All right. And then we'll go ahead and put this screen back in here. And let's see, we'll put this straight tip, the one that came on it. We'll go ahead and put that back together. So we'll... Oh wait, no, that's not how it goes. It goes in here first. And then this tip screws on like this. And then this goes in here like that. And that goes on here like that. All right, well, I got it back together. Right out, same as out of the box. Let's go ahead and put this in with my spare parts. Put that back away. Go ahead and put that back in the box can. Um, so, do I think this would work for pest control? I think it probably could. I think it would. It depends on the way it sprays. Um, let me show you too. There's another thing that this tank has that B&G does not have. It has a, um, a nylon strap. So I'm guessing if you wanted to do like a shoulder, let's go ahead and take this off. So this does come off this little tube it does it actually goes all the way down to the bottom to suck the chemical off it has a little screen right there too in the end of that so that goes all the way to the bottom 
and then it's got this shoulder strap. Now this is something that BNG doesn't have. Like, so you got a shoulder strap so you can kind of holster it over your shoulder or way over your shoulder like this. So you can be maybe a little more comfortable carrying it. You're not carrying so much weight in your arm like with a BNG. Now I think BNG does have shoulder straps. I've never used one. I've always just carried it in my hand, but it does have that ability. Um, it, of course, it does still have the handle like in the pump, just like BNG does. Let's go ahead and put this back. And it does also something that BNG doesn't have, um, which you have to, you can get a special model, but I, that model there does not have it. That's basically a base model. But so what you do is you will, you'll twist this like that and you pump it. All right, but it's releasing the pressure right here. See, that will actually release pressure, okay? So that is nice that you can actually just pull that up. With the BNG check valve, the only way that you can release the pressure is you have to actually loosen the lid to release the pressure. Like if I, if I took this and it was, I could loosen the lid, well, like that, all right? That'll release the pressure if you loosen the lid, but also they've got this little thing here that lets you loosen the pressure too. So let's go ahead and pump it up. Let's pump it up because I heard a lot of stuff leaking from there. Let's see. Can you hear that? Already out of the box, it's leaking. That's leaking a lot of pressure. I mean, there's still pressure in there, but you can hear it. You can hear it leaking. And that's just air. I don't imagine that would be very good for if you wanted to do a pest control application. You'd be constantly pumping it all the time, trying to keep your air pressure in place. Let me see, maybe I forgot a gasket. Let's go ahead and take it off and make sure, because I may have just forgotten to put a gasket in place. Also, the way this removes, it's these little knobs right here that you use to loosen and tighten the lid, they're gonna break, they're not gonna last. Um, I give it maybe a year if you're lucky. It might last a year. All right, so let's look on this and see. Maybe I didn't actually put a gasket on here like I was supposed to. Did the directions say I need to? The directions do not say I need one, but I do have one. So let's put this on and see if maybe this fixes the problem with the air leaking. So we've got this round gasket here, the big one. All right. I'm assuming it goes there. Let's go ahead and just put this thing back on here. Actually, that's going to fall off when I put that on there. That's not going to work. Because that is abs Oh, actually, there is a gasket on there. It's on this. I don't know if you can see or not. But in there, right there, it's all the way up there. So there is, the gasket is actually in place. It just doesn't hold pressure. So, do I think that this would work for general pest control? Yes. Um, I think it would be very irritating. I think it would get old really quickly, having to pump it over and over and over because it's losing pressure. You will constantly be pumping this tank. It will not hold pressure. It's not going to be possible to hold pressure with this specific tank because it's it's not it's just not but it does have a nifty thing so like the bng has the holster inside this actually has the holster right here in the handle so you can just there we go hold your wand like that but i don't think that this is really going to be a viable option um for very long because it it's not going to hold pressure. You're going to be spraying with it, which is also going to reduce the pressure. So you're going to have pressure leaking around the lid. You're going to have pressure leaking around the nozzle. I would not buy this. I think this personally is a waste of money. Um, and I'll put the price point up there and show you what you'd pay for if you pay if you buy this. I don't think it's worth it trying to do the job. I think you're just going to get frustrated and irritated if you try to use this specific, um, what was it called again? A Viva Sun. A Viva Sun. So, um, 
but I, like I said, I'll put the information up. I'll tell you how much we paid for it. Um, and if it, you might, you may not worry about it. You know, if it does save you enough money, uh, compared to like a $350, $380 BNG, uh, maybe it is the only option that you've got. Uh, this is not an option for me. Um, but you should go ahead and stay tuned and watch some of my other videos. I'm going to put up two more. I've got two more spray tanks that I'm going to uh, review here and maybe one of those will work for you and be a better price point. So hopefully this video has helped you. It, it sure has opened my eyes to some of the things that they sell on the market. And, um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel and don't pay any attention to the laundry in the background. I'm in my laundry room. It's pretty good acoustics in here. I can do, uh, pretty, you know, quiet. It's not too loud. And so you guys can kind of watch me go over these different things and I can get this out of the way. So just ignore all of the storage. I got my food over here. I got my laundry over here. And I think that's my wife's bra hanging up there and one of my uniform shirts. Anyway, y'all have a great night. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Really like hear that? It's leaking really bad. I don't think it's going to hold pressure for very long at all. Maybe it's the pressure. Well, it has pressure. It has some pressure. Let's see how well this thing behaves when it's constantly losing pressure. There's the stream, and if we loosen this, well, maybe tighten it. Oh, then we have a little mist. It's dripping horrible, look at this. See how when I let go, it still sprays? Like it's a spray, but then it just, it makes a mess everywhere. So if this wasn't just water and this was just uh, pesticide, that would make a mess everywhere. But luckily it's just water. So, uh, I don't know. I, I personally would not spend my money on this piece of equipment. Um, you're gonna make a mess. You're gonna be pumping it all the time because I'm just sitting here and it's constantly losing pressure, which is not what you want in a sprayer. So, it does have the other tip attachments, but honestly, uh, well, we can try one just to give you an idea of what it can do. Whole time losing pressure while I'm changing this tip here. <laughs> See, that drips real bad, too. Look at the, how bad it's dripping. And I'm not squeezing the handle at all, see? Not squeezing the handle at all. Maybe using outside for lawn care or maybe applying fertilizer to your crops or something. Maybe that's fine, but I would never use this for pest control. So, you know, don't buy this. This is not a very good product.